Whenever I stopped playing, uh, about four or five years ago now, I wanted to stay involved with Malone, stay involved with the club. Uh, so I came down one Saturday morning to see if the, the boys under 18s needed a hand and was collared and asked for to help out with the girls. Uh, I had two daughters and went home, spoke to my wife and thought it would be a good idea. Whenever I first started coaching, we maybe had 30 girls here playing rugby and it's grown now to we have about 120 girls and women playing rugby here at Malone. It's really a, a managerial position I've developed into. Um, whereas I'll assist coaches who need a hand in certain areas, uh, help with recruitment uh, and if replacing guys who maybe can't make coaching that night or, or anything like that. I think it's important to volunteer um, because it's not just giving back to the sport that you've played, um, you just don't know where it's going to lead you or the people you'll meet or the impact that you can have on different people's lives. Female rugby in Ulster is booming. Um, whenever I came on board four years ago, there was a few teams about and a few girls. It was hard to get games and, and hard to get other volunteers to get involved. Now we have 130 girls playing at the club um, and I know that's the case all across the province. I think there's still a lot of work to do, um, but I think we'll reap the benefits of the World Cup in maybe three or four years time, whenever these young girls who have started the sport at nine and 10 years old, turn into adults and, and start playing the game in the, the senior leagues. The impact of the Women's World Cup here in Ulster is huge. Uh, over that week leading up to the final, we had over 600 women and girls from six different countries play on the pitches here at Malone. Um, to bring girls like my daughter and my nieces here to be able to watch those girls play was fantastic. The teams that were playing at Kingspan, um, the New Zealand girls, England girls were also accessible as well. You know, when the whistle went, they climbed over the barriers, um, they shook hands, they spoke to the girls. You just don't get that in a lot of the professional competitions these days. And I think the impact of those girls and the experiences that they had over the course of the two weeks when it was here in Belfast, uh, we'll get the benefits of that, you know, in 10 years time when these girls grow up. You know, I want my daughters to have the same experience that I had.